Welcome. In this video, we're going to look at the GitHub integration with Pivotal Tracker. We'll set up the integration and run through a quick example of how you might use it. First, to set up the integration, we need to click on More to go into our project settings. From there, on the sidebar, click on Integrations. I can see I've got a couple of integrations set up already, but not GitHub. To set that up, we want to click on Add an Integration, and that will show me the list of all the available integrations I can set up. I'm going to click on GitHub, and here, this is going to walk me through all of the settings that I need to go through to set up the webhook on the GitHub side. But first, I need to name my integration. Tracker's already given me a default name, but you can change that if you would prefer. You also need to identify the tracker projects that you would like to receive updates from GitHub. It pre-populated the project that we were in when we entered the integration, but you can add additional projects if you would like. Scrolling down, you'll see that it's telling you we need to now go to GitHub and create a new webhook, and then it will show us the payload URL that we'll need to enter, and then the secret token. In order to populate these values so that we can paste them on GitHub, we first need to save this new integration. So scroll to the bottom, and on the lower right, you'll see the Save button. Once it's been saved, you'll see that now I have a URL to enter, as well as a secret token. I can click Copy to copy the URL, and now it's time to switch over to GitHub and create the new webhook. So I have GitHub open in another tab, and I'm already in my repository. I can click on Settings, and from here on the left, I can click on Webhooks. I need to add a new webhook, and then I've got the option to paste the payload URL, and then if I come back to Tracker, I'll copy the secret token and paste that in as well. Scrolling down, back on the tracker side, it tells you what options you have for getting updates from GitHub. At the very least, we want to have pushes and pull requests, or we can tell it to just send me everything. For demo purposes, I'm going to go with send me everything, and I'm going to go ahead and add the webhook. Now that we have added that, we can go back and look at our source code, and on the tracker side, I'm going to hit the browser back button, and now you'll see that we have added a new GitHub integration. I'm going to go back to my stories, and let's say that our developers are going to start work on this particular story. Currently, it isn't started yet, but if we want to associate this story to the code in GitHub, we just need to copy the ID. So I'm going to click on the ID box right there, and that's going to copy the ID. Notice too that this story hasn't been started yet. When we go and do our updates from GitHub, it's actually going to, in addition to sending updates, it'll start the tracker story for us automatically. And now on the GitHub side, we can go ahead and edit our code. So let's say that this was the source code file that we needed to edit. I'm gonna click on that file, and your developers would probably be doing this from the command line, but we're just gonna do it for here for demo purposes. I'm going to edit the file and then make my changes. Once all of the changes are done, we can go ahead and commit our changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the ID and then add a comment about the changes that we made. Um, implemented feature. Obviously your comments are probably a little more detailed. Um, and then since we don't want to commit directly to master, I'm going to go ahead and create a new branch. And then we'll give a name to the branch. I'm going to take the number sign out. And we'll just call that new feature. So I'm going to go ahead and commit those changes. And then let's go back to Tracker and see what happened there. So here's my story. You'll see that it's actually been started. And then if we open up the story, we can see that GitHub added a new branch. 
And then if we scroll down, here's our um, edit and that commit got entered as well. Um, if we go ahead and do our pull request, we can see that now the pull request has been added. That is green, which matches the status that is over here as well. And then if we confirm our merge, this is now turned to purple and this is purple as well. So the same status colors that you will see on the GitHub side are over here on the tracker side as well. So the pull request is there, the branch is there, um, and the story got started for us. So all of those updates were made automatically. And then if we come down into the activity feed, we can see that the commit is down there as well and our implemented feature comment all got added. So that shows you how to set up and then a quick run through of using the GitHub integration with Pivotal Tracker. I hope this was useful and please do watch our other videos to learn even more.